Hey grade 10s, we are going to try to do our first attempt at a home-based lab. Now normally in the class we would be doing a ticker tape lab. A ticker tape device is an interesting little machine that basically takes and makes a dot on a strip of paper and it makes 60 dots every second. Now 60 dots in a second is a lot faster than we're capable of doing. So we're going to try to be making 120 dots in a minute, and we're going to do this. You're going to need to have three different colors of pens, a ruler, a piece of paper, and if you go over to YouTube, you can Google 120 beat metronome, or I will post a link to one available to you. Conversely, if you don't have um, a metronome or something available to that end, you can try um, singing a song and making a dot on every beep. So you're going to need a partner for this experiment. We're going to start with drawing ticker tape timing for constant velocity, acceleration, and then deceleration. What we want your partner to do is to reach in and slide the paper away, trying at the beginning to have a constant speed, after a moment to try it again, but this time speeding up, and the third time, we want to get them slowing down. I want us to make sure we get at least 10 dots on the page for each try. So let's start with constant velocity. Start your timer. And we're going to start making dots just on the spot. Now, once we get going here, our helper is going to pull at constant speed. I'm not going to move my hand. We're just letting them pull the paper at constant speed. Okay. We have a series of dots, and I made a little glitch there, but that's okay. We have approximately 10 dots. We're going to do the same thing for acceleration. Again, start your timer. This time, before my uh, helper pulls, they're going to start at a slow speed and then speed up. Again, I'm not moving my pen. I'm going straight up and down once every beat. Okay. We'll do this for a third trial with deceleration. Again, starting my timer. We're making a pile of dots at the beginning and when they're ready they go to constant speed and then eventually slow down. Okay, so we have three ticker tapes. Now in the lab we would have had a little machine do this for us. Because we picked a timer that was working at 120 beats every minute, we can assume that we're going to have every two dots is equal to one second of time passing. Here's where we're going to use a ruler. We're going to start at time zero, and then every two dots is one second. I want you to draw a line through every two dots. And we are going to measure the distance from time zero to each line. Now, I'm not interested in measuring in between each line, although we will look at that afterwards. I want us to measure always from time zero to each line. For example, in my first trial, the distance between time zero and my first line was three centimeters. Leaving my ruler in the same point, because I always keep time zero at position zero, my next line is at 5.4 centimeters. My next line would be at 8 centimeters, and so on and so forth. We'll do the same thing for acceleration. Setting time zero at position zero, we'll every second dot measure a little line every other dot. We're going to measure how many centimeters we have moved from position zero. Again, I'm not moving my ruler. I need the distance from the beginning to be measured. We're going to take those and we're going to make three graphs, one for each line. Our graphs are going to have displacement going up the side in centimeters. This is how far we've moved from the beginning and the time in seconds going along the bottom. Remember, every two dots was one second. From our constant velocity graph that we had, I can see that at 
time zero, I was at position zero. After one second, I had moved three centimeters, so I'd make a dot at my three centimeters. After two seconds, I was at 5.4 centimeters, so at two seconds, I'll go up to 5.4 centimeters, and so on. So you adjust your scale to fit your information. I want you to graph all of your dots and then join them with a connecting line. We'll do the same thing for the acceleration and for the deceleration. You're, you can draw them all in the same graph if you would like. There should be more than enough space. Um, or you can draw three separate graphs. Once you're done, then go on over to the Assignments tab and I have a short series of multiple choice questions that you will see that asks you questions about what your uh, ticker tape looks like and also what your graph for each one looks like. It's a short, simple little assignment and it is for marks. Message me if you need any help at all.